Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It has been way too long since my last upload. I've told myself, I went back to my regular job for the summer and I told myself I wanted to like stay active and like keep making YouTube videos regularly, but I just haven't found the time. But I knew I wanted to make a mermaid video. I don't really draw mermaids that much and I thought it would be fun and it was. And I literally started the drawing. I was excited for this. I started it weeks ago and it just took me literally weeks to finish it. So here you can see, I don't usually show you guys like the sketching phase too much, but I sat down to draw this and I was really liking how it came out. I didn't use a reference or anything for this, which is kind of unlike me, but I was really liking how it came out. And I don't know if it's cause she's a mermaid. I just really didn't care about like if the anatomy was right or I don't know, it was just easier. But here I am just sketching out my mermaid. And I did have to like liquefy and like change a lot of like the size of her head and stuff you'll see, but I was really, I don't know, the whole sketching process I felt like isn't what I normally do or like, I don't know, maybe it looks different, like it didn't look like my style, but I was really liking the way it was going. Like, I don't know, I felt like my drawing was more like flowy and loose and not as like stiff. I don't know, but here I am just sketching out her face. I also feel like, I don't know if it's because I didn't use a reference or what, but I feel like her face looks different than most of the faces I draw, which I kind of liked. It was kind of looking, in some stages of this, it looked a little bit, I don't want to say scary, but like maybe not as cutesy as some of my regular drawings. And I was kind of like, maybe she's like a scary mermaid or like, not scary, but I don't know what the word is I'm looking for, but maybe less humanoid. But I mean, she looks like a human. I don't know what I'm trying to say. Just forget that. Um, but here I am changing her little face proportions, making it all look good and match up. And I'm not really sure what my idea was for this. Like I said, I just kind of like sat down and started drawing without like a reference or anything. So I don't know what her pose is. Like maybe she's sleeping, maybe when I was, before I drew her hands, I was like, maybe she's like looking, maybe she's holding something like a shell or something, but then I didn't make her holding anything. So I'm not really sure what she's doing. Sketchy sketch sketch. Also how her face is like kind of downturned. I was kind of trying to play with like the different angles and like, I don't know how the, the features would be like closer together because she's like looking down but also I feel like I didn't really do that so I don't know she just has a unique face I guess and then I wanted to give her some flowy hair and this part was a little bit difficult for me because how her body is kind of like has that nice like curve to it I was trying to figure out like what would look good like hair wise to complement that shape I'm pretty happy with how it came out in the end, but definitely in the sketching process, I'm just like, oh, what is going on? I'm running out of things to talk about. I don't usually include like this much of my sketching. Drawing her hand. Then for the coloring, it's pretty much the same. I just color block in my base color and then I'll take the, a lighter color and start kind of like shaping out the face. And for this, I literally just scribbled it on. Uh, so I like scribble in the highlights and then I take the blending tool and kind of like blur it out, make everything smooth and nice. So her forehead, her nose, her cheekbones, her chin a little bit. I kind of do this like in stages so I go in 
here I can still see my rough sketch pretty like a lot and so I'll like do this and then I'll lower my sketch like to a lower opacity and kind of do it again um, but just everything and then I'll do it to her body a little bit and I feel like this is just like creating the form you're like showing it with like the shading not with like line art if that makes sense and then I do the same thing with a darker color here I'm kind of like drawing in my sketch a little bit like her jawline shape out her nose her eyes her lips a little bit And I kind of do this in like the same spots everywhere, but I like to really where like the bridge of the nose, like the nose kind of goes over the eyes. I really, I feel like it makes it pop. I really like that part. Give her lips some form, dimension. Undo that because it wasn't in the right spot. I kind of use my sketch pretty loosely. I. I feel like my sketches and my finished project product don't really like they look like if I was drawing someone it's two different people <laughs> but I just work on that blend it all out make it look nice give her some cheekbones contouring there And then here you can see I lowered the opacity of my sketch layer um, and then I just kind of like go in and like solidify everything I guess so like you can't see her eyelids so I go in and I make those darker I fix her chin where it's like too blurry right there I'll make that like you can tell what's going on here I didn't even color in her ears so I'm doing that now giving it some shape And just clean things up smooth things out here I said of fixing her chin and then time for her little mermaid tail and I like this nice like yellowy green color I feel like it looks pretty nice I wanted it to look I wanted it to like fade into like her tail color is like uh, like that reddish color and I like how that like gradient fade looks so that's what I was kind of going for. And then her tail, I kind of fixed it up a little bit later, but I don't want it to look like too much like fish fins. I want it to look like, I don't know, like stringy, like seaweed or like jellyfish tentacle thing. I don't know what you call those. And then here, just adding in some color to her face. So I'm coloring in her lips, giving her cheeks a little bit of pinkish color. And then her hair, I wanted it to match her tail fin thingers so I just draw that in like a normal kind of color block the whole thing pretty self-explanatory except I don't know how to color fill there we go do the other side figure out what I want that shape to look like I wanted her hair too. I was really trying to like make it look flowy like she's in the water and make it like soft and flowy. So once I have her hair all like the base color like color blocked in, I alpha lock that and then take a lighter, in this case it's like a little bit lighter and more orangey of a color and start kind of like painting in the different strokes of her hair and just adding a few more little flowy pieces here and there just to further that like her hair is like getting pulled by like a wave or something in the water um and just keep adding in little hair strokes and details I kind of add in a few highlights sort of when I'm doing this and I didn't really sketch out her hair, so I didn't know like what shapes, like the different pieces, curls or whatever would be following. So 
it's a little bit messy, but she kind of gives me those vibes, so it's cool. And then I take a little darker. In this case, it's also a little bit more purple of a color and push the darker colors darker. Uh, just keep adding in like more hair texture, I guess. And then for the fun part, she kind of starts coming together. I add in her eyelashes and her eyebrows. And also I didn't have a reference, so I wasn't really sure like what direction that one, her eyelashes on the one side should be going, but kind of got it figured out in the end. And once that is done, Did something else oh yeah so I wanted to like give her like texture on her like fishtail part and I was trying to I kind of like added that in with like a texture like a charcoal texture brush and I was gonna go in later and like make it look more like iridescent like it would change colors as it was like in the light or whatever but I kind of didn't really like detail that out anymore, but I was gonna draw in like more little individual scales. But I did not finish getting her into that. And then the background I added in, I played with different brushes I don't normally use. And this part was a different day and the um, brightness on my iPad was like way too low. So I like couldn't see what colors I was using. So I don't really like this. You'll see, I kind of cover it up later. I tried like changing like the levels and like curves and stuff but it wasn't really working so I kind of like painted over that and I kind of lose I like how there's like those shapes of like the bright colors I kind of lose that you'll see here in a second oh and then for her bra part I wanted to be like seaweed because I don't know I feel like this shell thing is kind of overdone and I just I didn't want to do that so I gave her like different types of seaweed and just changed up the color on those and drew a bunch of those in I really like how that came out. I, I don't think my brightness was adjusted on my iPad yet because these colors are like, I don't know, they're like too green green for my liking, but in the end I added in some like yellow and stuff and I like how it came out. More seaweed, add in some little details and textures. Here I add in those yellow bits. I feel like that really like pulls it together and it kind of like makes it match her tail a little bit more. I added in some seaweed in her hair, a little messy, I don't know, like she's swimming around, who knows. Add in a bit more detail. Here, yeah, here I'm like playing with the background, trying to fix that, but I didn't like any of that, so I kind of just like got another brush and like painted over it. Blend it all out. Get more of a blue that green was like too bright and saturated for my liking so i kind of like just covered it up but then i kind of like lost the like flow the movement of the water that i liked um but then i just erased some bits blur it out some more i wanted like i didn't want a full background i just wanted like that like i kind of drew that box around her just flush out some more of the details and then here I'm just color picking different colors and adding some like bounce lighting to different things. And I played with the blending modes, but I ended up just going with like a normal mode and just lightening it a bit, I think. More bounce lightings. And then here I'm adding in like the purple shadows I always like to do, but I made it a little bit more blue this time, kind of like, from the water it would be more blue I was thinking so that's what I did here and you'll see I set it to multiply in a little bit I feel like these stages like they do the most they just make your drawing look so finished and like complete and it's like the most fun part but it's like at the very end and it like doesn't take that long here I'm just adding some shadows really like making it look more 3d not as flat I really like how this came out Make it look like her hand is on top of her. Give her tail some depth, more shadows. Make her hair look like it's above her. Different strands have the different shadows. 
I feel like that seaweed, the shadows on the seaweed really make it like pop out from her. But yeah, guys. Oh, I did add some, here we go. I added some bubbles as a little bit more detail. And that is my finished drawing. I love how like colorful it is and like different. I feel like it's not really my style, but I really like how it came out. And that's my finished drawing. So thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.